Perfect. One thing I did want to mention was, uh, so you back in school now? School starts next week. Yeah. So at the time of this, you'll be back. Yeah. How are you with that? Because I know like every other day I feel like I'm seeing articles about, oh, they're, they're only going to be, students are only going to be in the half the time or they're going to be in full time and okay, no, they're going to postpone it. And it's, is it all kind of a bit up in the air at the moment? Like, yeah. From March, everything's been up in the air. Everything, like things can change in a week. But I think one, I just accepted that. I'm just like, if they change, they change. There's not much else I can do. I want to go back. I, I want to see the kids I teach. Um, it'd be nice to just catch up. Like the kids I teach are hilarious and we have so much fun. So if, I'm looking forward to that. But if, if it, yeah, if stuff changes, I don't know if we go to, into lockdown again because Birmingham's got quite a few cases and then we'll just have to see what happens then. Have they told you of any, I guess, social distancing measures? Because well, I don't know if you saw the news where... Um, I think Boris Johnson's cameraman or whatever fucked up. So basically, they were trying to show a classroom being socially distanced here. Yeah? And Boris Johnson was telling, you know, like trying to preach to them. And then the camera pans and you see everyone stuffed into the corner of the room. Yeah? I'm like, you're a fucking mug. You don't know. But that, 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 that's the truth of these politicians. That I, was just, I was just like... Was it live? It must have been live. Yeah, it's on Twitter as well. The clip's everywhere, fam. You can't, you can't dodge it. Social media scrutiny is like one you can't dodge. I think... Our school is okay. Honestly, the wealthier your school is and the smaller your school is, it's easier to do all the social distancing stuff. We have about 900 kids. We're trying to, you know, so they're saying like different kids will come in at different points of the day. I'm probably going to lose weight because I have to walk to different classrooms to teach different year groups and be on the move all the time. They've told us a bunch of stuff, you know, like we have to wear face shields and like we have to wash our hands all the time. But that's all they can do for now. Like you can't just say that kids will not go, kids haven't gone to school for months. So I'm sure that's already had like enough of an impact. So one thing also to add is at least in the area you're teaching, uh, presumably like if you take away the education aspect or a way to get away from home, that's like a major yeah. impact on the child and you can't, they need to go for their own good. Yeah. Like some of them probably know that, but a lot of others may not realize that, that if they're at home and they're not actually getting proper education or they're not getting the resources to access it they may not have a computer etc like that's a big impact so like they at the end of the day they're going to need that education in those cases more than the people who can actually have you know the resources to connect virtually which is a big thing so you can't i guess deprive the child of the education like schools should always start i feel like they should close the pubs down and all of that shit and just let the schools continue but obviously we'll see if the government decide to follow who guidelines <laughs> Because I feel like closing the pub meaning that... You Are know, you like including something. restaurants in that? If they have to close restaurants so that kids go back to school, that's fine. Okay. Like, just go back to takeaway or whatever. Like, I feel like that's a way better trade-off than stopping a kid from getting education just for your social needs. That's just my opinion on that. I don't know. I, I, I'm happy to hear other voices on that, but I feel like yeah. in our cases, we've already got our education. Do you know what I mean? The main like part of the degree and all of that. And we can do social, like we have the resources to do it virtually. We don't have to meet up, you know, for example, go to a pub, etc. Yeah, if you're saying you should close pubs and restaurants, yeah, fair enough. But I don't think you should just be yeah. like, oh yeah, close pubs, but don't close restaurants. Like, Yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, whatever thing. it takes to allow for schools to be the only thing that could, I guess, potentially spread COVID. And ideally it wouldn't, but we know that it's still going to spread. But ideally, it's at least have a reason that is justifiable than businesses, just businesses alone. Yeah, I'd say two things. One, don't overwhelm the NHS. Ask somebody who knows a lot of doctors. They are they work like mad. Okay, like my dad did a full weeks a week worth of work. Then he went in on Saturday. Then he did two shifts on Sunday. And yeah, I'm just like these guys are they're trying their best, but don't make it any worse for them. And yeah, keep schools running because we don't realize what a gap it could have, and you know what differences it makes for some of these kids. So 